let's go to the end view straight away now it's always good to analyze these two things together because the difference becomes pretty obvious what happens in a vor system i've always told you vor for variation at the vor v for v right let's see the same system here now if i kind of replace this entire system with vor i'm going to kind of kind of make a continuation of this rather not rub the whole thing out so here instead of an ndb i'm looking at a vor so imagine that i am on a i'm a radial of 155 degrees from from the vor so that's that's more more likely with the vor system right now think that you are on a radial of say give me radial about 0, 1, 0. right so i'm a radial of 0, 1, 0 degrees now uh from a vor and we have a dme vor association uh, let's keep it say the same 50 nautical miles as we considered before for ndb so we have a distance dme distance of uh, 15 uh, nautical miles uh, sorry 50. that's the that's basically the dma distance all right now let's let's kind of uh, visualize this so we have a vor right and uh, it's dpn and the aircraft is on a radial of zero one zero of the vor now can you can you kind of kind of explain what um uh, what a radial would be so we have we have explained really in detail before that this is just for the people who are kind of streaming up there for their revisions so a uh, radial is basically a magnetic point number one to understand magnetic track point number two point number three is the most important part here from we are so three things to understand here magnetic track from the VOR. It's more like the QDR for for the for the NDB systems, right? So everything from there is now the same. So let me draw this particular radial here, the radial of the 0, 1, 0. I'm drawing it a bit bit off just to make it better. So this is a radial of 0, 1, 0. Actually this is going to be somewhere somewhere around here, but I'm just drawing it here. 0, 1, 0. And the aircraft is at a distance of 50 nautical miles from the VOR. So we have the DME association here. So VOR DME. Perfect. Right. Now 50 nautical miles from the VOR. You have the DME arc, the 50 nautical mile arc, and that's it. The aircraft is straight there. Let's assume a heading for the aircraft. Give me a heading. Uh, zero three zero. All right. So heading is zero three zero. The aircraft. This is this is zero one zero. Therefore, zero three zero should be like this. As I said, this doesn't look like zero three zero because this doesn't look like zero one zero. It's like off drawn, but you you get the point, right? Now. Uh, the aircraft is now moving away from the station for ob obviously now the question here is um, I need to fix my position that's, that's the whole point again right so uh, one more thing the variation which we considered previously in the NDB section as well as the which you want to consider right now in the VOR section where do you get the variation from that's it you get it from the chart so on the chart you have these dotted lines let me draw the chart once again here because we're going to position fix for which we need the chart so we have a chart here right on a chart we have the variation lines yeah so let, let me kind of draw the variation let me draw the uh, view so what do we have on the chart we out of all these out of the aircraft and vor on a chart what do we have we don't have the aircraft on the chart the vor exactly so let me conveniently draw the vor here because i need space that direction and then we have this radial being marked again on the on the chart itself radial of 10 degrees right and 50 nautical miles you have the dme arcs kind of running all the way through and then we have this 50 nautical mile dme arc right and that's straight here so the aircraft is right here and uh, we have the 030 all right perfect now one thing which you have to understand here is again when you draw a system like this when you take the the radial from here and when you put it straight to the chart the chart has already considered the variation here 
you have to consider it for your calculations but uh, can i take a 10 degree straight from here and draw it yes you can because uh, we have it's already the variation is already applied here and they have kind of marked it as a 10 degree radial for you so even though the actual track would be would be different say for example this is 10 degrees and we have a variation let me draw the variation here variation at the at the at the vor as uh, again the same 20 degrees east and let me make it 15 here 15 degrees east and the variation at the aircraft let's say 20 degrees we'll take the same variation that we consider for the ndb ndb previously um yeah which of these variations would you consider for you to kind of transfer these uh, these track values magnetic track values onto the chart so i'm going to transfer it to a chart so we have in degrees magnetic here and what i need is in degrees true yes in degrees true so what is the what variation should I apply? Should I apply the variation of the aircraft or the VOR? So for the VOR, it's V for V variation at the at the VOR. Therefore, variation at the VOR is 15 degrees east. Remember, so remember we use the variation at the area for the uh, NDB system, and we know why. And for the same exact reason, we use the variation of the VOR. Now think about it. Uh, what is the principle of operation of a VOR? That's again, that's again bearing by phase comparison. Bearing by phase comparison, we have the reference signal, variable signal, you know, all those things. The white light, red light, lighthouse, all those comparisons we have seen in detail. When we studied that, uh, we have explained a point that this particular idea about creating a phase difference in such a way that when the aircraft is a 10 on a 10 degree radial the phase difference sensed by the vor receiver would be 10 degrees that's a phase difference between the reference and the variable signal would be would be 10 degrees but where is that phase difference created it is set at the vor station what the aircraft receiver does is simply read the value that is set or measure the value that is set that setting is all done at the vor right and for that reason the the vor radial is set at the VOR station, not at the aircraft. What the aircraft receiver does is simply measure that set value. And just like we explained previously, if the value is set of the 10 degree is set at the VOR, why would you use the variation of the aircraft? You have to use the variation of the at the VOR, which is 15 degrees. That's why you have used 15 degrees here. So 10 degree radial, if you apply 15 degree east variation, so this is um, magnetic least because the variation is east, and therefore the true will be more than that, which is 10 plus 15. That's going to be 25 degrees true. Right now, remember this is the local meridian. Say for example, this is the local meridian, more like Northern Hemisphere, Lambert's projection would be somewhat like this, right? And this angle is definitely going to be 25 degrees, but they will mark it as radial 10 degrees because that is what is convenient for uh, for the pilot to navigate. You're looking for a 10 degree, a 10 degree radial. I'll come back to that. I'll come back to that, but uh, we are looking for a 10 degree radial. So if you look at the navigation charts, you can see the radial is there. And... Um, uh, we kind of we kind of did use this 25 degrees true but that will appear as a radial of 10 degrees straight so you don't have to do anything even though it is marked as 10 degrees it's 10 degrees magnetic which is true which is 25 degrees true applying the variation at the viewer don't really worry about this part here because uh, you will not be really troubled with that you've done your navigations anyway so you are done with that what you have to understand is in questions related to vor always take the variation at the vor yes for all the people are going to do the exams next time and for NDB systems, as we have previously discussed, um, it's going to be at the aircraft, and we have now seen why. Right? In case of NDB system, the the bearing from uh, to the to the station is determined at the aircraft, and therefore the variation at the aircraft has to be used if you want to convert that on a chart onto a chart. On the other hand, in case of a VOR-based system, the whole phase difference, and hence the radial, is determined at the VOR itself on the ground. And not at the aircraft receiver. Aircraft receiver simply kind of reads it or measures it and reads it, that's all. Right? And for that reason, we have to use the variation at the VOR for a VOR system. Very, very important because they can ask you these questions. They have asked these questions before. And to not, they'll give both the variations uh, quite tricky in the question and do not get confused. Uh, you will have both the answers and the option. That's the best part. Uh, so whichever variation you use, you will have the option 
uh, corresponding to that and that's going to really trick you off. So just keep this in mind VOR for variation of the VOR, uh, V for V and now you know why. Always try to have that concept in your mind and NDB it's always the aircraft. All right, that's it. Um, what we'll do next is we'll kind of uh, do a problem where we have a combination of VOR and NDB systems coming together. So we have an aircraft at the center and you have a VOR to its left, NDB it's to its right and then we'll see how that question kind of kind of takes us through. All right, that's it. So did you guys um, copy this out? Yeah? Phase comparison for the VOR, yes. And that happens at the VOR station. Remember those, those diagrams that you have drawn with the lighthouse concept? Um, where we have taken a white light spreading out like a, like a uh, omnidirectional signal and then the red light that is kind of rotating like a unidirectional signal from the lighthouse right and we remember we have actually seen the two different signals which is like the reference signal variable signal and the phase difference is zero on a zero degree radial from the from the VOR remember all those things if it is if it's over here we have a phase difference of 90 right and if it's over here the phase difference is 180 and over here it's going to be 270. Uh, we have seen this in detail uh, before, right? Yes. Don't worry. I'll I'll take the portion again for you because it's a couple of couple of batches here who haven't who haven't uh, who missed those classes because of their uh, RT exams. So we will we will come back to that. Otherwise, is it clear all of you? All right. Perfect. Yes. Let's go to the problem now. Okay. Let's look at this question here. Uh, the question is find the QDR given the coordinates of NDB. So the NDBA coordinate is given as 35 degrees north and 63 degrees west. It's there my notes. Question number 36. Right? Now, the, the coordinates of the aircraft is also given as 35 north. Are you guys with me? The, the streamers? Yes? Yes, pardon me. Can you hear me? Right, guys. If you have trouble, do let me know because I'm not really used to how we have been in the other 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 classes with uh, the other ground school. But I, I'm sure you can actually catch up. If you have trouble with the online system, let me know because I can see your chats over here. All right. Do you have it? Okay. Yeah. So the aircraft coordinate is 35 north and 43 east. Perfect. Now, you're given the variation and the NDB as 10 degrees east and variation of the aircraft is 15 degrees east. Perfect. Now, let, let's very quickly do that. I'll give you some time, two minutes, go through it and then uh, we'll do it together. <laughs> 